Welcome to Module 2, Lesson 9. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to decompose a liter to reason about the size of a liter, 100 milliliters, 10 milliliters, and 1 milliliter. We're learning this so that we can find out the size and weight of objects in real life. We will use math in real life situations. We'll know that we're successful when we can build and decompose a liter. Do you know what capacity means? Capacity is the amount of liquid a container holds. Here's a container. Notice it says one liter at the top of the fill line. The capacity of this container is one liter. We can write that as one L. That is 1,000 milliliters, or 1,000 ml. Here's a smaller container. Notice it says 100 milliliters. The capacity of this container is 100 milliliters. We can write that as 100 ml. How many 100 milliliter containers can we fill if we pour the liquid from the one liter container? We know that a liter is the same as 1,000 milliliters. We want to know how many times 100 milliliters can go into 1,000 milliliters. Let's draw a tape diagram to model 1,000 milliliters divided by something equals 100 milliliters. We can count by 100s to 1,000 to find our answer. Ready? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. There are 10 100 milliliters in all to make 1,000 milliliters. We can say that 1,000 milliliters divided by 10 equals 100 milliliters. Now that we've poured out all of the liquid, the container is empty. If we pour eight of the 100 milliliter cups back in, how much liquid will be in the container? Here are eight containers with a capacity of 100 milliliters each. We want to know how many milliliters are in all. We can draw a tape diagram to model 100 milliliters times 8. Then we can count by 100s 8 times. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. There are 800 milliliters in all. We can say that 100 times 8 equals 800. Okay, it's time for our read, draw, write question. We're going to read the question and pick out the important information. Then we'll draw a picture to help solve the problem. Finally, we'll write the answer as a sentence. Here's our question. Justin poured 10 bottles of juice into a punch bowl. Each bottle contained 100 milliliters of juice. How much juice in all is in the punch bowl? I'm going to draw a tape diagram to model our answer. So the tape diagram is our punch bowl, and I want to know how many milliliters of juice are in the punch bowl if Justin poured all of his juice 
out of the bottle into the punch bowl. So I know that Justin has 10 bottles of juice. So I'm going to draw 10 boxes on my tape diagram. And each box represents one juice bottle, which has 100 milliliters of juice. I want to know how many milliliters in all. So I'm going to count by 100s 10 times. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So I can say that the punch bowl has 1,000 milliliters, or I can say that it has one liter. Okay, I've drawn my model. Let's go back to the question. The final step is to write the answer as a sentence. We want to use information from the question in our sentence. The question is, how much juice in all is in the punch bowl? I'm going to say the punch bowl contains one liter of juice because 10 times 100 equals 1,000. Okay, I've drawn my model and I've answered my question. So now it's time for you to do the, a redraw right question on your own. We're gonna read the question together. Then you will get out a piece of paper and a pencil or a dry erase board, or if you have access to Google Jamboard, you can use that too. You're going to draw a model and then you'll answer the question with complete sentences. When you're done, you can go to the description box below and check your answer against the correct answer. Here's your question. Trinity's water bottle holds one liter of water. She drinks 100 milliliters of water per hour until it's gone. How many hours does it take Trinity to drink all of the water? You can pause the video here Make sure you use information from the question in your answer. Do your very best work, and I'll see you in the next video.